Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Sylvester. I'm a musician slash singer and here we are to react to something. This is truthfully something that I just wanted to watch. I know that probably no one's going to watch this and no one's going to care, but I wanted to watch this because I love this and I've already seen this, but I don't care. I want to watch it on camera and talk about it and experience it live with everyone and... Yeah, so if you guys don't know, I'm reacting to Fred again, Tiny Desk Concert, but I want to react specifically to Delilah, Pull Me Out of This, right? That's the song. Um, I love that song. Um, it's so good. I want to listen to it live because when I first listened to this, it was just so good. I need to watch it again. And if you guys don't know, Fred again's like a um, DJ, but he's like really unique and I feel the sense that he built he builds his tracks really interesting in a really interesting way and what i love about him in this tiny desk concert is the fact that he did everything live and built the tracks in real time and i think that is just so such a testament to his talent and i never used to be that big into techno music and then i went to europe for five months four months and i literally fell in love with it so this kind of genre was something i never liked before but now i'm like obsessed with it but um <clears throat> truthfully i think that this is awesome the way that he built the tracks in live time i think it's awesome it's such like a challenge too so i think it's just good for your musicianship to do something this crazy but yeah feel free to also check out my patreon and my music that i post um yeah let's get going this is gonna be like a really quick video but <clears throat> So if he, he basically looped that part that he started and he like recorded it into the gear and then he can loop it and play over it. It's just so cool because looping is so interesting. I'm not great at it. I would love to be good at it. I think if I spent some time, it would be really fun. But looping is just so awesome because you can literally be a one man band and you can create really interesting tracks and you can basically just build something from no scratch and i think it's just awesome like looping is live looping especially is so stressful i feel but once you get really good at it it's really impressive and i really appreciate when musicians live will live loop like you'll see like musicians that play shows and then when they live loop it just it it definitely makes it seem more professional because you're able to build such a huge track instead of it just being you and the guitar or you and the piano so i really love it it's really cool I, you can learn a lot from this guy <laughs> literally like goosebumps and chills like i don't know if you can see that but oh my gosh it's just so beautiful like the piano he's like an amazing piano player and like it builds so much emotion and tension with just him playing the piano and like literally this spliced video of this girl speaking like it's insane <laughs>
it's just so good and it has so much movement which is just so amazing this piano player playing is so beautiful i don't know what it is but it's just so chilling to hear the song live and especially his piano playing it's just hitting an emotional part of my soul that i did not know existed and honestly i also learned this on piano like very badly like not as good as him but it inspired me so much that i had to learn it and i'll put like maybe at the end i'll put like a pick um a video of me playing this like really like not to this level but i learned it like the chords at least and it was super um fun but I don't know what it is because at the end of the day, like it's the piano part is not like super complex, but I don't know. It's this, it's this chord selections. It's just the way that he produces things. It's just so good. And it like actually gets emotional when he's playing them live. Cause like when I listen to this song passively, it's like pretty upbeat, it's house music. But then you listen to this version, it's like a heartbreak version of this song. Jeez, with the piano, it can't handle it. And he's just so cool. Like he's triggering the sound. <clears throat> of this video with like the little squares that light up but it's kind of fun how the video also matches up with the squares um so it's like triggering the video and the audio but yeah <laughs> Okay, now we change. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to react to the whole performance. I honestly think this performance is amazing. I truthfully love this. Fredigan's awesome. This performance is... I have so much even more respect for this man after I watched this because I really like his Boiler Room whole set. That was awesome. This is just incredible because he live looped the whole thing. And it. people always say like DJs aren't real musicians, like they don't do anything. And I get it. Like sometimes it's not like once you get the hang of it, you kind of got the hang of it. And some people are just not that great of DJs, but they are DJs at the end of the day. But I think with him, what's so special is the fact that he builds these tracks out and he's very intentional and he always has these different versions of these songs in his mind at all times. And he's always kind of experimenting because with, especially with live looping, you're always going to have like a variation every time you do it. And I mean, I just love the whole, like the vision behind this whole Tiny Desk concert. Like, I just think it's so unique and it's just such a, it's such a challenge for a DJ to do this in the first place, like the way that he pulled it off. But he pulled it off in a way that actually just hits me in my feels so intensely. Like it's just so good. Like I don't know what it is, and like I don't know what it is about like the even the piano's part. It's just so hypnotizing. It feels like it kind of gives like nature and rain. I don't know. Like the way that he, it's not even like that complicated of a piano part, but it just sounds so beautiful. The way that the notes cascade and like the way that he's playing and just like the rhythm and then i guess like since there's so much movement in the in the piano part like it makes you i don't know it's very hypnotic i don't really know there's just something about right again i could go on a rant i already have for like 10 minutes but i just love this performance i'm not gonna lie this video is for myself if no one watches it i don't really care because i wanted to watch this on camera because it's just so good like that section is just so good too like the whole thing is good but that's one of my favorite songs and especially with the piano part had to learn it i'll put a clip right now <laughs> let me play it badly but it's all the, it's all the same but yeah, that's all I have to say. If you want me to watch more Fred again, I don't know if there's really like an audience that for this. I love Fred again though. He's awesome. This was a this is great. If you have not watched this full thing, please go watch it. It's so good. And I love this whole thing. I sometimes just put it on and like play it in the background because it's just so good. So good. If I don't need if I don't know what to listen to, I don't have a playlist. I just put like boiler room or this sometimes. 
just so good anyways that's all i have to say feel free to subscribe ring the bell if you want feel free to check out my music it's very singer songwriter acoustic but it's still it's cool um and i've made a patreon if you want me to react to things that are super obscure and we don't think we have an audience for feel free to subscribe there or be a patron and let me know what you want me to watch i'll watch literally anything music related guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.